Sometimes life in the boarding house could prove difficult, but there was one thing we could always find solace in, and that was the close, irreplaceable friendships we made along the way. Helen, what time do you call this? <sighs> Don't you start. I was up to my elbows in placenta all afternoon. I almost lost my uranium wristwatch. Come, come. <laughs> Rixie, you're positively scandalous. <laughs> what if Sister Benedict finds out? Oh, poppycock. Sister Benedict couldn't find her G-spot in alphabet soup. <laughs> What's a G-spot? I'm not sure. But Father Michael says they're propaganda from the woman's suffrage. Like the clitoris? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what in heaven's name is going on? Oh, no, here comes Sister Benedict. <gasps> Quick, smoke that cigarette and pretend to be asleep. What was all that ruckus and rumpus I heard? Might I remind you that this is a boarding house, not a dog's kennel? Now, unless you want to end up like one of those slutty fish women living under the docks with their gills and eating nothing but mud pies and condoms, then I suggest you keep those cunt flat. Shut! Finish off your nighttime cigarette, because it's the 1950s and cancer hasn't been invented yet. Good night. And remember, don't let Satan bite. That was close. Oh no, I've singed my nightgown all over. If it wasn't for that yummy asbestos in my cigarette, the whole bed would be set aflame. <laughs> Speaking of fire, let us burn the midnight oil. Oh, what if Sister Bernadette comes back? Don't toss, Sister Bernadette. Let's have a joyous occasion. Dance with me. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> Such fun. <sighs> Trixie. Yes, Cecile? I've grown rather tired. Oh, no. You can't go to bed just yet. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant, silly. No, what I meant to say is I've grown rather tired of nursing. I want adventures. I, I want to escape. I want to see the world. Well? Why don't you? <laughs> don't be silly. No, you could. We could. Ride off into the sunset. Uh, Trixie, really, you're drunk. Let's play horsies. Horsies? <laughs> like when we were kids? Yes. Come on, then. Mine's called Jamiroquai. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Mine's called Cement. Giddy up, Jamiroquai. Giddy up, Cement. The last one to that water hole with that baby drown is a rotten gooseberry. Yippee! <laughs> oh, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Oh no, here comes a big hill. Gallop harder. Gallop harder! Hooray! Ah! Hey. Oh. 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 Trixie. Yes, Cecile? I feel different all of a sudden. We'll never... We'll never be free from here, will we? Why, why of course we will. <sighs> yes, of course. Silly little me. You're not silly. You're wonderful. Cecile. Yes, Trixie. I, I... I think we ought to go to bed. You've... 
You've dozens of bouncing babies to deliver tomorrow. Yes, of course. Well? Good night. Cecile. I never saw Cecile again after that night. She was caught flashing her ankle to the local apothecary and was shunned by the nuns immediately. The day I stopped receiving her letters was the day I knew she was gone. She lived a sad life. I renounced my spinsterhood at 23. My husband and I truly loved each other. I tended to the children at home while he operated our local train station. He was working on the first train to space and giving ketamine to dolphins on the side. There he found his second wife, Dolphin Kate. I couldn't blame him. He, she was majestic. I have had a trying life and have not accomplished much. But I'll never forget that night when Cecile and I truly felt free. Talk about Passion of the Christ. <laughs> we'll be right back. My <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Wait, are we falling?